one of the really relevant things I think in an entrepreneurial endeavor is the capacity to stop the momentum every so often. Um, just kind of like in a basketball team or a football team, call a timeout, and they're endless. You can have as many timeouts as you want, and stop and see if your team is all going in the same direction that you want them to go. Uh, the entrepreneur is a leader, whether he likes it or not. He has a vision, whether he likes it or not, she likes it or not. Um, and it is their vision that people look to and are captivated by that attract them to the team that they get on. Oftentimes, an entrepreneur will be get busy in doing what he loves doing and won't want to deal with the day-to-day uh, -day stuff. They have to sort through that and see how to find somebody who does want to do that. But what they have to allow, I believe, is that anybody and everybody stops and has a team meeting whenever they want, or what we call in business a flash meeting, especially if it's a really high-paced business, which some are, well, a lot are nowadays. Um, and a flash meeting just means things aren't going as they seem that I think they should go. Or I've reached the end of all my intelligence in a problem and I can't solve it. Or something just happened that absolutely made my day regarding the business or that will impact other people in the business. And you call a team meeting. Or a flash meeting is what we call it again. A flash meeting is getting those people together who need to be brought together that can help you with the problem be elated with you in your solution or your win, and or uh, add a cohesiveness, a community, a connection to the team in such a way that it makes the team more efficient. A team, a flash meeting can be called by anybody, like I said. Uh, those people who are asked to attend have to attend. Uh, what we usually do in a flash meeting, it's really hokey, and it works. We look at one thing that worked and one thing that didn't work, and these are specific incidences since the last team meeting. So we'll sit with people, okay, and they'll say, what worked was getting that call from Bob on da-da-da. What didn't work was getting mad at so-and-so when I was dealing with them. Right? So you look at instances that worked and what didn't work. The reason for looking at both what worked and what didn't work is the people that you work with, you want to let them know that it's okay to make mistakes. Right? If it's not okay to make mistakes in your business, then you're going to have to either find another business or strive for a perfection that I don't understand. Uh, if your employees are afraid to make mistakes, if the people that work with you are afraid to make mistakes, if there's some real horrible repercussions for making mistakes, you're going to fly into a brick wall one day because somebody's going to be sweeping a mistake under the carpet because they don't want to be reprimanded or screamed at. So we look at what worked and we give some sort of acknowledgement, we usually applaud, and we look for what didn't work, and we give some sort of acknowledgement, which is usually applause. And we um, then sort through why the team, or what the team meeting was called about. Again, you know, I don't like the word why, but uh, it's a great letter, uh, vowel or a consonant, all that stuff. But you look at what was, okay, you do the what worked and what didn't work with everybody there, and you say, okay, this is what I called the meeting for. I just closed the contract with Monster Cables, and they are sending us a check in the next two days for two hundred thousand. Right? Um, or look, I've I've got here I am with this particular client. I've got this far, and I know there's a solution. I, there's got to be a solution, but I can't see it. It's completely outside my realm of vision right now. I've taken a nap, I've done whatever I know to do, and I can't see it. Who can see the solution? Because somebody on your team will definitely see the solution. Maybe not in that minute, but once they're aware of the problem, it may be that simple that you walk back in and the solution is waiting for you. The flash meeting is called when the fibers are askew. When things are not as you know that they should be or things are not as you think they should be. Uh, my last seminar in England, uh, it was the last interview, which by that time, a lot of my help, help, assistance, may get a little complacent. Not often, but sometimes they get complacent, especially if the person being interviewed has been interviewed before. And you watch for things. At first, I noticed that my logistics was not connected with me. So I brought her in and I said, you're not connected. I said, what's going on? She said, I'm not sure. I said, you better bring your team up to speed. This is the last interview, and I need you guys right here, right now to believe in me. 
so that this damn thing will work. I walked into the seminar room, and the assistants were handling the music. We had music on the breaks, and there was a song that was on, and I was listening to it in fascination, somebody I had not heard before. And I turned to the assistant on the music. I said, who is that? He started turning. I said, no, no, leave that up. And I said, who is that? And he said, she's... And just as he spoke, the music went off. The music just cut off for no reason. Now, in my world, that's an indication. In my world, that says, stop your world, look around, and see what's going on. There's something interrupting the patterns in your world. And if you don't stop now, it's only going to get worse. And so I went in and had a team meeting. I just stopped everything. I said to the people, the participants, I said, I apologize. I said, my team is a little bit off. I need to have a team meeting. I need to get them focused on what our goals here are, which is you and your dream. And I have to get them focused. But I watch for things to see what is and isn't working. And particularly, pieces of electronic equipment, if they glitch or fail, it's usually enough of an indication for me to get out of any unconscious time and say, okay, I need a team meeting. www.micpeakperformance.com